The next test we're going to do is another very good field test, which is the tuck jump test. In this test, the participant must complete 10 jumps in succession. And as they do, we're looking for several different compensations, which we will go over as well. Here's what the tuck jump should look like. Again, remembering in a normal test, we like to do eight to 10 repetitions. The things we're looking for are excessive lean, whether laterally or forward. We're also looking for making sure the feet land even, a soft and balanced landing, looking for if we have valgus collapse, or if we see one leg landing before the other. Lastly, we also want to observe if there's noticeable traveling of the athlete doing the tuck jump making sure that they're not moving forward, backwards, or laterally. So if you place markers to help keep them in one spot or help you observe them staying in the same space, then I advise that you do so. I'm Blake Swan for UOA Sports Performance Department.